out. How yeah. how terrible of an idea was that from AEW to air that footage because it done them no favors at all. Yeah, I mean, um, you're really the the biggest thing is that you're selling for Punk after he left, and that's one of the worst things you can do when you're an upper level shark in this shit is sell for somebody and let them know that they got to you, right? So mm -hmm. to no sell would have made Punk look a little vindictive, and then that they had already moved on and he's still thinking about it. Instead, they uh, got him <laughs> right away, yeah. and they changed their whole show, which goes to show that they don't have any two, three, four weeks ahead storyline if you're turning on a pivot for your main stuff to sell what happened in reality on a, on a talk show that week. Yeah. And you really don't have the creative abilities to spin that into something bigger aside from making yourself look petty, right? So... I, I, you know, I worked a lot with the Bucks and 2CW, and I love when they rib the business and, the, and that, so I get why they were kind of doing it as the payback and at least tried to tie it into the FTR stuff. But then there's no follow-up this week. Their big follow-up was to cut the FTR promo like they're just big leaguing. So Punk got over on everybody. Now, there is a clip out there from this week's Russo brand show where <laughs> Stevie and Vince are kind of going to bat for Punk, but at the same time, like I say, I'm not here putting over Jungle Boy. I think there's probably a lot of, I think I'm over attitude there that got under Punk's skin. But I've also seen firsthand multiple times Phil do things that I don't think is how a man should act, how I was brought up. And it's spot picking and big leaguing guys at OVW that were designated under or non-contract. And it's how you treat those people when nobody's looking that speaks volume about your true character. And I've seen him do things on multiple occasions that are just not inside my DNA to do that. So did he ever disrespect me? No, not to my face because I was half-assed with the cool kids. But those who weren't in that and the way I've seen them treat them, I don't have a lot of respect for the guys. So when I see him go up to Gorilla, I don't care if Jack Perry's an asshole or not, I don't know. But – in this business, that's not where you pick pick your spot to, to cause some shit at the biggest show of the year. Right. That 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 shows to me it, the guy hasn't grown up at all. He's still going to do what he wants. And even for after brawl out, what did they do? They didn't correct the situation. They gave him his own show to separate, keep him separated. So that reinforces the behavior that he can do whatever he wants now. You've been in this business 20 years and you're going to walk up at the biggest show in Gorilla and cause shit because you're pissed at some rookie. If you were a real great white shark in this, you would have made him feel comfortable and cut his throat while he didn't even know what was happening to him. Instead, he picks his spot and goes up and wants to be a tough guy to somebody who's not really even ready for it. And, and I know a lot of fans earlier on that Russo brand are like, he doesn't know what he's talking about, dude. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about. <laughs> I've seen him do this shit. I've seen him at 4th Street Live acting drunk when he's a fucking straight edge superstar. I've seen him big league non-contract guys. I've seen him have the Cobra Kai cool kids that fucking all kiss his ass. Because I've seen him. I was there when he big league fucking Tony Atlas saying, you haven't watched my show talking about ECW, bro. The whole locker room is groaning in the go home. So any fanboy out there that thinks they fucking know because of an Ariel Hawani interview, you don't know fuck all, bro. I've seen it in action and I know. Thank you. Thank you. Fucking well, thank you. Was that good enough for my 15 that minutes? That was Daddy? fucking great. I can <laughs> say it better myself. I miss you. you. I miss hanging out with you, dude. I've been oh, so busy. Man, it's good to have you here. Yeah, Jesus dude. Christ. Thank you so much. Yeah, I got a weed store. Any fucking wrestling fan who wants to come at me can get fucked twice. Bring five dollars and I'll slap you across your moron mouth, bro. There you go. <laughs> Just a second.